You are cleared for contact. Well guys, we did it. We have officially built Nuketown in Sons of the Forest. And here's how it went. I got a comment the other day saying sometimes the worst ideas are the best ideas. And then I had the idea to build Nuketown. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're definitely going to need a lot of open space because it's a pretty flat map. So we're going to be building it here in the golf course. There's decent enough space to move around here and realistically, as long as we don't reach this edge, we should be set. To start everything off, I think I'm going to start with that one significant trailer just because it seems relatively easy, but I'm going to place it right here where this golf cart is. I found the most helpful mod for this and it's just an infinite log console command where as soon as you place a log down, another one just pops up in your hand. It definitely helps a ton with like no trees being in this area anyway. And I do also have my PS3 running with Black Ops 2 on it, just so I can walk around and get some perspective of the angles and the lines that you're running. But biggest thing, this is not going to be too perfect scale or anything. There's a lot of hard angles and pieces that don't follow a grid-like system, whereas the, this game builds on somewhat of a grid system. So, yeah. I mean, I am going to try to replicate it to the best of my ability, but it's not always uh, super, super easy. So we're just going to see what we can get away with. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. All right, you guys tell me, does this look like the bus? Well, the trailer, technically. Yeah, this is a trailer, because the other one's a bus. I think it's getting there. But I will say, this is feeling pretty reminiscent of the trailer in Nuketown. Granted, there's no like boxes or anything in it. We're going for the structures first, and then we'll start furnishing everything. Now, in the name of progress, I'm going to go ahead and start laying out the overall like flow of the map. So what we're doing right here is going to be the car that's like at the bottom of the trailer. And if this were the first the forest, then we actually do have a blueprint for an automobile. But this one still being pretty new, we're just going to have to see if we can create some shape that's reminiscent of a car. Then we have a sign that is just a sign here somewhere. And this is about where the house is, I think. Not gonna lie, I'm having a pretty hard time getting the grid down because the biggest thing is it, you can't really do one to one. So in this scale, it looks a little bit too large for what the house actually is, but at the same time to get the stairs in here and to get it all to be functional for how you actually run the map, we're gonna have to go pretty large for this. And then of course the fact that back here there's actually like a little ditch, so I'm gonna need to level it out, which is not gonna be that easy because I was thinking maybe just doing some stairs at every little entrance, but for again, the flow of the map, we're gonna have to make all of this flat, which I'm dreading doing, but we'll do that towards the end. So working on this second level is actually what's getting me to feel a little bit more reminiscent of the map. Because the bottom floor you're not going to really mess with too much in the sense that, you know, it has the entryways, has the doors and everything. But because the space is so large, you're basically going to run right through it. However, this second floor with the stairs, with the entryway that we're going to make, and then the focus on the one room with the window that you can overlook the entirety of the map. That's what I'm really excited about. But just like on an actual building scope, this is actually pretty solid you know you got the bus right there you got the house with the big window up there you got the little garage section to the left so i'm actually pretty happy with how it's coming out so that's a pretty good start for the balcony if i do say so myself now i'm sorry i'm not walking you through like every little detail of this whole thing uh one for me that's a little boring just kind of like every little piece that i place down and two i'm actually going pretty quietly i'm just like staring at the game screen on my ps3 and then just like looking over to my pc so it's really not anything like super important that you're missing so to kind of show you guys where we are here's the bus you jump in right there you can exit out this way there's a sign you enter the house and you can go all the way through the house pretty normal you fall down and back here is the respawn point so yeah pretty cool now for the next house let's start with the spacing i feel like this is about the spot this is where like the little garage area is it might be a little close but i think this is probably going to work just because we don't want to go too far back otherwise we're going to hit the edge the scaling on this one is definitely feeling a lot better but one thing that's really going to step everything up are the furniture pieces mainly the mannequins because nuketown has a ton of mannequins everywhere so we're going to make sure to add that as well and if I can't make it as to scale as I'd like, I at least want it to be usable because I am going to be doing some 1v1s after we finish building the map. It'll be just like old times. It's starting to take shape, and this is the last wall right here, actually. If he... Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, he's really not doing much, so I guess he just wants to be around. There's like a little awning right here as well, just outside the garage. 
Granted, that's probably not going to be super functional because you can't actually get up there. But at least for like the feeling of being in Nuketown, I definitely want to add it. And I know it's not going to be 100% accurate, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try it because it's actually coming together pretty nicely. A few moments later. So I took some time just for the sake of progress, and I'm honestly really happy with how it's coming together. So right here off to the corner, this is the actual sandbox little area, the little playground that has a swing set. This is one of the spawn points for the map. Then you can see over here to the side, we have this other spawn point, which is like a little walled off area. And I did also do some of the walls just like that kind of interfere with the overall line of sight because I'm going to do the walls for the entirety of the map. You enter the house and here's the garage right here. You can actually come up the stairs and very, very casually over here is the balcony. You can actually walk down pretty easily. Then you go to the main room and you have the window right there. You can actually run through it just like in the map as well. So this is the bus and I think I might actually close this off. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But uh, over here is actually what I ended up doing for the cars. It's nothing fancy, I'll say. It's just something that was somewhat reminiscent that you can climb on pretty easily. You walk into here and then you have the big window. So you can do like the snipes, the window to the other window, which I mean, that was a pretty iconic part of the map itself. For the time being, we're working on walling off the map because I know I'm going to have to flatten out the other half of the map. But that's just going to take a long time and a lot of effort. So we can at least do this. It's a little bit more enjoyable for the time being. As for the mannequins, there are actually a few places they can spawn in. So I'm just placing them where they are in my game right now. And I'll add more as I go on. However, I'm kind of stepping away and coming back from this just because this is taking a little bit more time than I thought. But it's actually looking pretty good. And the next shot will probably be it done just because I'm probably just going to hammer it out if I can't sleep. And guys, this is the last log of the map. So we are done building Nuketown. So I did flatten out this entire area back here just so it was as usable as possible and you weren't like having to jump up, go up all these stairs and everything. This definitely took a lot longer than anticipated, but I will say I'm not going to give you like a full tour of the map just like this. Just because we're about to do some 1v1s with Andrew. He's going to load into the game. We're going to be doing a bunch of different weapons. And in that, you'll get a good sense of the map and everything that we did. Well, that I did. He was just moral support, basically. You are cleared for contact. All right, starting with rifles, best out of three. I hear gunshots. Oh, oh, I'm dead. But that was it. I'm dead. It was it was a headshot or something. Because honestly, it might just be the rifles. I actually haven't used them. They just might be stronger than I thought. Wow. Switching sides. Guns up. Let's do this. Something technique. Okay. Honestly, I really like this gun. I think it holds four. Four. No, yeah, it doesn't hold that many, but it's not like you're supposed to be using it the whole time anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. I'm gonna get you. Oh, you're down? Yeah, I'm already down. Where'd you go? I accidentally pressed respawn. Give me a sec. I had a head start. Not gonna lie. It's all good. This is the last round, though. It's tied one to one. Oh, oh, yeah. Wait, there's no way that hit. Oh, oh. Dude, that was like the smallest peak too. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm just that good. I'm really not though. Yeah, I know these shotguns pack a punch, so using armor I think will make it more fun. How do I look? Very ugly. 20 years younger, I bet. Ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Awesome. I'm not sure. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ow. I like how you say ow like it's actually hurting you every time I hit. The fact that you can kind of like half climb things, it's kind of like Black Ops 3. I mean for you. Never mind, my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh, no, hit him. Oh, he took your shot. I got him. And I got the revive. I don't know how I'm not dying. Yeah, I feel like I keep hitting you and. It's just, your armor is just too strong. I'm only at one right now, so it's not not looking very ideal yeah, for me. Yeah, four. You have four? Oh, I forgot to reload. I forgot to reload. <laughs> this is what it goes. Yep, this is the end. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, it was that armor. It was that armor. Loser buys the winner, G Fuel. G Fuel? If I win, can I get a Red Bull? 
Sure. Awesome. If that's what you wish for. It is. I, I like Red Bull better. But to be sugar-free. If anything, the pear was my absolute favorite flavor. Mm. But they discontinued it for whatever reason. And that was just perfection right there. <laughs> Wait, we both deaf? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. It's a draw. All right. I'll take that. I'll take that. Wait, does that mean we buy each other drinks? Okay. The rain and the fact that it's night, it kind of feels like Nuketown Zombies. I got an idea. Nah, I mean, if this video does well, we can do, like, Black Ops Zombies, but all the zombies are Kelvin. We got the map, so, like, might as well use it, right? Ah. <laughs> I gotta reload, I gotta reload. Oh, that's it. I'm done. Yo, it is barely hurting me. I feel like for how many times I've hit you, your armor is not accurate to how much damage you've taken. Oh. What? How do I have so much health? I never really realized how many different weapons there are in this game. Oh, I heard that pass right by me. Oh. <laughs> it takes a while to wind that up. It takes a good bit, but it does pack a good punch. You think you got to ride? Wow, we literally just did a circle. <laughs> Surprised. Oh. Ha. Oh. Tries to revive you, it just ends up taking all the crossbow bolts on your body. Final round. Melee and grenade. Guns up. Let's do this. I don't remember if I had the setting on or off for building damage, but we are uh -oh. about to find out. Uh oh. Uh Whoa. Uh -oh. Already? That was like the fastest round. Yeah. Okay, attempt number 14. Is it? Take us out of the trick shot. Okay, number 14. A, a dividend of seven. Let's go. <laughs> oh. oh, brother, this guy stinks! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I have, like, no health, <laughs> but I'm still alive. No. Yeah. Come on, one more. There we go. Oh, I got you. Yeah.